um, we get cubs and this is Delilah. Whoa oh oh, whoa oh oh, whoa oh oh, whoa oh oh. Whoa, oh, oh. Whoa, oh, oh. Whoa, oh, oh. Delilah went global, didn't it? Or national, played on national yeah. radio, which is fantastic. Yeah, it's, yeah. Yeah, it's good. And what does it mean to do that when you've gone sort of from, from being played locally to, to, to getting national airtime? Does it make a difference to, to who's looking at your Facebook page and such like? We've got quite a few more views than we usually do. And like, it just helps like branch out a bit and gain new fans, really. Mm. And yeah. bookings. Had a few years. Yeah. Yeah. I had a lot more interest um, for our booking agents. They've been like getting like um, requests left, right, and centre for people wanting us to play the venue. So it's Good. Been, it's that's, been that's great. Brilliant. Now the album to the mountain is is out now. Um, mm, has yeah. it, does it make you feel different as a band once the album gets out there? Do you feel as though you kind of grown up a bit when you yeah, put an yeah, actual album out? Yeah, yeah. We're a lot less naive when it comes to like, the music industry kind of thing. <laughs> like it's out there. It's like. And now we know what will happen when you release like so much at once. So now we're going to start um, doing like an EP. That'll probably be the next step for yeah. us. Everyone always wants free albums too. Yeah. <laughs> so you always get people. requests for free albums, don't you? Yeah, just yeah, like, can't do them, free. sorry. Yeah. Well, not, we'll not, not, a, not at gigs, though. Oh, yeah. Hey, I'm your best mate. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I'm a mum there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's an album. Yeah. No mum. Yeah, well, <laughs> tell us something. Don't tell me you wouldn't give a free album to your mum. Nice. <laughs> she got to pay. Yeah, she's got to pay. I gave mine one for Christmas, and that was a push. Was a... <laughs> <laughs> you forced it upon her for Christmas, yeah. more like. <laughs> What's best about being in Get Cubs? Is it the performing? Is it the writing? Is it putting albums? Out? What What is great about being in Get Cubs? 
I love uh, traveling and meeting new people, really. Because there's always we always have people in Burton come up to you like, oh, you want to get Cubs? That's brilliant. Shake your hand and stuff like that. It's really nice. Yeah. Quoting Alan Partridge's quotes. Yeah, yeah. I think, yeah. I think the, my, my most enjoyable oh. bit is is our friendship. <laughs> which, which sounds very sad. Yeah, but it's just like, you're the only people that talk to me, so, you know. <laughs> it's great. I've got friends, yes. There's a new guy coming into it as well. Like, it's just a laugh. Just we, we always seem to have a laugh, and yeah. I don't know. That's the best thing. Yeah, I think <laughs> without sounding too like cheesy or anything. No, I think no, it's it, important, isn't it? Because yeah. you know you do hear of people who are in bands with people that they just don't get on with, and, mm. and I just think, what's the point, really? Yeah, mm. I think a friendship builds good ground grounds for a band, really. That's true. Yeah. We were all friends before the band. Really, That's so it. Yeah. 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 And like when Dan came in, it kind of like completed us. It's like, it's like, there, was, like there was a piece Dan. missing of the puzzle. <laughs> Dan came in and sorted us all out. It's a good lad. <laughs> This is Cinnamon Girl. Cinnamon Girl, if your cinnamon twirls and you taste like fire, but you never wear it. Cinnamon Girl, if your cinnamon twirls and you taste like fire, but you never wear it. Stop. 